Hey guys and welcome to another YouTube page of mine. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys that I do have a little soundtrack on what I have in mind for my book. So let's uh, go ahead and check things out. Um, things are going to be a little backwards for me is because I don't have a switch to switch the camera around. So things are going to be a little different for me. Uh, this is the one of the songs that I picked, which this is when Sarah comes back to talk to the teammates, and this is the song I picked. The reason I picked this song is this is a beautiful song and everybody knows this song but I picked this song is because I can picture it just so beautiful when the shadow comes into the room and just blows your heart away. I mean blows your heart away. Um, the next song I have is same the same person. And it's called By the Wild Child, which is about a child. But this is going to be like at the end of the movie, if my book turns into a movie. And she's running through the woods, slow motion, you know. And the song will start playing, this wild child song. I'll give you a little uh, taste unto it here. Uh, that is a one beautiful song. You guys should hear this one. It's called uh, The Wild Child by this lovely lady. I would love to meet her because she has lovely songs. And it just breaks your heart. Just, it, it's just there, you know. It's just right there, you know. The next song is uh, Cry Little Sister. And... I picked this one is because it's evil and it's got what I need into it, which, and this one was already into a movie, but it's got the, the Nathaniel's theme, you know, he's mean, he's, oh, he's the leader of, you know, tries to control things, you know, he gets so mad. This song's just perfect. See how it, evil it is? That's why I picked this song. The other one is Castle of Glass, which I'm going to have to try it on the next book. I can't use it on any other. Or we can use it on the beginning of it, which I have Nothing Else Matters by Metallica to do the beginning of it or the Sound of Silence. And then I've got the last of the Mohicans soundtrack, and I've got the 
the wolf spirit, which that could be basically what I think it could be in the beginning of the movie right here. I would say this could be the beginning of the movie right here. I was also thinking about having that song also at the end of the movie, too, because it's got that ending theme, you know. So, I was thinking about putting that into the ending also. So, I have a choice on Wild Child on the end of the movie or in the end of the book, or should I just put that song at the end of the movie, you know, which I could still see Starla running through the woods, you know, running in the woods, you know, and just doing it slow motion, and that, that song could be perfect also. I have not, it, it's hard telling because they're really both good, you know, so I think that one could be good to put in in the movie, or that could have been in the first beginning of the movie. I have not really decided on that one, but the beginning I heard this song, I would say, yeah, that could be good for the ending. But then when I heard Wild Child, because it ends, it ends as Starla. So, and we need a child just like the wild child in it too so it is kind of it's a hard difficult because i know i only can pick one you can't pick them both unless the credits are so long you gotta have two uh two music into the end you know so which one would it be first the wild child or this song you know but yeah, so yeah, I, I it's just a amu it just amuses me on both of them. On they both can be in the end of the movie, or you know, it is totally awesome, totally awesome. And then, uh, the last song that I have, these girls is from the United Kingdom, okay, and they made a record for a band, a girl band for themselves, and their fathers are in the military, and this cries me so, so much, and, um, at the end of this video, and it's called The Puppy Girls, and it's called The Call, and No Saying Goodbye, and, this just expires me. This song just expires me. And they did a wonderful, wonderful job. And they go up to maybe about, I would say, 8 or 9 to 17 years old. And their fathers are in the military. Well, at the end of this video, one of the girls' fathers comes in. Because he came home early just to hear his daughter sing. And they also got to sing, sing it in front of the queen herself. And I think that is a lovely, lovely thing. So we're going to listen to the song for a little bit.
You got to subscribe to me too, because I think I'm going to play it all. Isn't that beautiful? That is so, such a beautiful song. I mean, they did a, such a wonderful, wonderful job on that record. And, you know, I would give them everything, you know. And they did such a wonderful job on that. Um... Well, that's all I have for you for right now. Um, but we will get back into we will get back into the book as soon as we can. Um, next weekend. So still follow me on Thursday, which we're doing another shout out for an author. So you guys take care later.